Hey guys, what the freak is up? So today I have a building hacks video that is all skincare, makeup, other beauty products. I made all these hacks by myself and I hope you like them. Let's get into it. <laughs> do a voiceover for this video just to keep everyone entertained if you think i'm annoying you can just mute me and follow the hacks do you guys like the room that i chose to make this video in it was built by one of my bloxburg friends and it is so aesthetic oh my gosh full tour of this mansion is on my channel it's really old i think it's like two years old <laughs> or something i had to make a whole entire video for the tour of this one house usually i tour three plots in each tour video but this one was so big i had to make its own video i haven't done a plot tour video in a while and that's because i've been working on my town i have been filming the renovation videos i also started a new house but i don't think i have three plots that you guys haven't seen you guys saw the mediterranean house kind of in the last video in the last build hacks video i will do a full tour once it's finished anyways this is the finished result of the dior lip oil I'm doing a lot of Dior hacks in this video because they're just so cute and luxe. Literally, my mom made me start my Christmas list because, like, apparently port workers are going to go on strike or something and we won't be able to get packages from overseas. I don't know what items will be affected by that, but most of the things on my Christmas list so far are already sold out, but, like, they've been sold out for a while. So I don't know, maybe somehow I'll get them for Christmas. <laughs> Let's maybe not talk about Christmas before Halloween. I smelled the actual Dior blooming bouquet perfume in real life and it's all right. I prefer the Miss Dior roses and roses perfume. It's just a classic expensive smelling rose perfume and it smells literally so good. Here's the decal code by the way. I made it by myself. Since when did decal codes get so long? last Dior product. I promise. <laughs> this one, actually, I don't know how much it was. I actually guessed the prices for all of these hacks because I don't know if my bills got paid while I was making this. Like, I actually, I couldn't keep track, but just know it's around $3,000 for this one because it uses a lot of basic shapes, which are really expensive. I prefer doing basic shapes over plain decals, though. It just looks so much more realistic. And for this hack, even if you used a decal, it would just be flat. And isn't this much better than the makeup palette that Bloxburg already has? Like, you can't even color the, like, eyeshadow colors, I think. I used to be like, how could I ever make my own build hacks? But then I started trying. This video is, like, one of the first times I've actually, like, tried to make my own build hacks i've made a few in the past like in older build hack videos i would always look at like bull blocks and other youtubers who would do build hacks and i would be like wow those are so impressive like how could you even like think of that what really helped me is like looking at an inspo photo and then i just like went to the decorations and i looked at everything and i like picked the items that resembled the shape of the thing that i was trying to make and that really helped Okay, here's the decal code of the Dior logo, and also what the heck, this is a little funny guy that I found while I was building. Should I be, like, explaining how to make these? Like, does that actually help? So what I did was I sized the painting all the way down, and then I, like, put it on a little cube, and I flipped it upside down, because that's how it would look in real life if you opened the lid. For all the colors that I used in this video, you don't have to use the color wheel, but I did, because it just looks better, and... For the colors of the of this palette, you can just eyeball them. I used the inspo pick and I showed you the coats that I used. For the brown shade, I just clicked on linen and made it darker. Okay. 
Okay, low key on this one, I kind of messed up. I made the decal a little bit too big. So if you don't mind a slightly larger lip mask, then it'll be fine. For the decals, make sure that you're doing the one-sided decal just to save money. Here's the color code for the cap if you want to use it. Resize the painting the smallest that you can make it and then put it onto a little cube and then transform it. That's pretty much how all of these hacks are going to go. This is where I realized that I made the photo too big, so I had to make the entire thing bigger. And it just looked kind of weird, but if you don't mind the larger look, then you can still do this. You can just put it on a shelf and like don't put it next to other beauty products that will show the scale. Also, to do bird's eye view on computer, you have to click spacebar, hold that down, and you can't do it on mobile, unfortunately. <laughs> The Laneige Water Bank is a moisturizer. I've never tried it, but it just looks really cool. And I thought I would want to make another Laneige product that looked similar to the lip mask. This one is supposed to be bigger than the lip mask, but it looks like they're the same size. <laughs> My bad, guys. <laughs> My favorite moisturizer in real life is the Versed Dew Point Moisturizer. Um, it's like a gel cream, so it's like really good for oily skin, but also other skin types too. You can get it at Target and it's just really gentle and I've never had anything bad happen to my skin after using it and I've been using it for quite a few years and I also have really sensitive skin too. I used to use the Neutrogena gel water cream but I stopped using it because it has fragrance. Okay, this one was a happy accident. I was trying to make a serum pipette, like the ordinary ones, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. And I found out this hack while trying to make that. And I was like, wow, this one's way better. And you can put any logo you want on it. Just do the method that we've been doing. And it's just a simple hand cream pump or face cream, anything you want. And this one is the cheapest one so far. I know it's $700 for a hand pump, but <laughs> look at the other prices, guys. I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe. Also, if you play Dress to Impress, when I get 50 more subscribers, I'm doing a Game Pass giveaway, either permanent VIP or custom makeup. Subscribe so we can start that giveaway. Remember that you are loved so much. Have an amazing day. Bye!